do you approach this match um, differently or do you still feel, I suppose, that fire when you do see it's a Mac Derby? Of course, of course you have to. You know, this, this is more than just a game. Um, obviously, there's a trophy on the line, but this is for local pride as well. Um, you know, the Manchester, whenever I see the Manchester City fans um, in the street, they, you know, they tell me and they drum the history into me that they've been in the shadows for a long time of Manchester United. Now, hopefully the pendulum's swinging now. Hopefully that, you know, we're tipping the balance in more in our favour. Like you said, we've had some fantastic results against them and nine times out of ten we've had the upper hand. But A, this is a final. Um, and B, they've also got some results. I remember Pogba and Smalling, you know, spoiling the party where we could have won the league against Manchester United. So these things still sit, you know, fondly in my memory, um, which, you know, some of the defeats will sit in their memory. So it's a cup final. It's a game of, you know, of 90 minutes where two teams are going to go battling it out for each other and hopefully we come out on top. Lots of people are going to turn up expecting City as the champions to win that game. Yeah, but it's not about people, it's about us, you know. This game is going to depend on what we're going to do on the pitch, you know. If we, you know, if uh, if you're already going to um, face City thinking they're going to win, better you don't step on the pitch. Yeah. So, you know, I think the most important thing is also what we're going to do. We know they are very good, you know, but we also have to prepare how to count them, how to make the game difficult for them. We know so they don't like to have the ball. So if we keep the ball, if we have more position than them, they're going to run behind the ball and these things they don't like. So we have to put everything on the table and look what is the best for us and what's going to make the game difficult for them. In the end of the day, it's going to be a nice game to watch. Well, in terms of one-on-one battles, I think a lot of people already are relishing a battle of you up against Garnacho because he's mm. young, he's pacey, mm. he's fiery, but you still have that pace. You're not slowing down. You're kind of aging like a Usain Bolt there. <laughs> um, have you thought about that matchup? And of course, the experience that you bring in, is it kind of like, all right, let me let me try school a young man? <laughs> yeah, of course, the, these, these games, um, and especially against these young wingers now, you want to, you want to put yourself up against them because these, this is the next generation. And if you can keep up with the young, the, the young ones, then you're doing okay. Um, you know, I'll be 34 next week. Um, I'm not too sure how old he is, but he's a lot younger than me. I can assure you that. So listen, as long as I can, you know, keep performing as I've been performing this season, um, whatever the team the manager picks for this game, um, you know, everyone I'm sure will do the best. But the most important thing is, you know, getting that win come the end of the 90 minutes and walking up them famous steps at Wembley. Obviously this time last year you were in a Champions League final mm. against City. You know better than anyone how tough a side they are. What what kind of challenge do they present? It's a big challenge, you know, it's, a, it's the best club, it's the best team at the world at the moment. Huh? But I think last year we were better than them, they were looking to win against us. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's football, you know, because last season we, I think we played better than them, but they won the final. In the end of the day it's about winning, yep. like you said. You know, you can play better, you can have a good or bad season, but when you win trophies, this change everything. So it's a key point for us uh, Saturday. Final question, just speaking about Phil. I mean, what more can we say about him? Of course, player of the season, mm. but now it feels like he's unlocked another level and he still is so young, you know, at 23 years old. Is he easily one of the best in the world in his position, if not? I think he's proved it this year. I think he's proved it this year. I think you're only as good as your last game or as your last season and this season's been fantastic for Phil. The hardest thing now um, is replicating that next season because as soon as you start having a couple of bad games or, you know, that purple patch kind of wears off, you know, people are going to be on your back and especially in this media of today of England where people, you know, they do like to bring you up very quickly and then bring you down even quicker. Um, so listen, he's got a lot of roles and responsibilities on his shoulders now. He's set the bar so high, but I have full faith and confidence in him. You know that he can do it again and get even better because he's working with, you know, one of the best managers, if not the best manager, uh, you know, in the game, and he needs to thrive off of that. Would winning that game on Saturday turn it into a successful season? Do you think? Not a successful season. It it, it will. It will make things look better, you know, because uh, it's important to end good. Winning this game, we are in Europa League. We know how important it is for for us as a player, for the club to play to be in Europe. So I would not say it's successful no, because with the player, which kind of player we are, with um, for playing for playing for this club, winning a FA Cup, I don't think it's enough. No, and we are used to play Champions League. Some of us Champions League final. Yeah. 
and for some of also winning the Champions League. So it's a difficult season when when you look back and you compare with this season, it's a, it's a tough one.